what's poppin had to give it a little toot there welcome back to another power stroke rig video today we are putting airbags on the old luma duty the beater the work truck because when i'm telling a trailer i'm sick of being tooted you know what i'm saying so we have the airlift load lifter 5000 i'm looking at right now and uh yeah thanks for stopping by thanks for tuning in you already know this install is going to be like a sore dick you won't be able to beat it so uh yeah do an unboxing video we'll show you everything here and we're gonna get after it, y'all. Let's get it. Alright guys, so what we're going to need for this video, so far, before I get into any tools, floor jack, jack stands, we're taking the rear tires off. Also, I'm going to rotate my wheels and tires because I did a one wheel burning on that side and this thing's got a little shake to it. Honestly, I hate these tires. These are the uh, Federal Explorer MTs. They're loud. They just, <clears throat> they suck, man. So, I'm going to rotate the tires, but anyway, tires taken off, jack stands, floor jack. So here's the kit right here. This is the 5,000 air springs. I was going to buy the 7,500. Um, I figure this is all I really need, though. So, I mean, best bang for my buck. Read the reviews. Got them off Amazon. Uh, I think I paid like $380 for them. Uh, and also, reading stuff, I bought this Quick Connect little T fitting because from what I heard, you get two lines and you're going to, you know, you'll have two straighter valves. And I'm just going to put them all in here and then have one one area to fill up rather than have two lines to fill and try to gauge them at the right, you know, pressure and PSI and yada, yada, yada. So yeah, this is what we're operating with. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna show you everything that's in here and full install. What's up with this cat? If you don't know airlift, you know squat. All right then, 60 day back, money back guarantee. So yeah. So guys, don't even ask me what's going on right here because I don't really know. But I'm telling you one thing, I'm going to figure it out. So first off, from what I am aware of, is we're taking the bump stops off. Those, that's a plate right there. And that's obviously essentially where the airbag is going to go. So airbag goes there. You got a plate that will mount it from the top, a plate from the bottom. And then you will have these like U-bolts that will bolt it to the axle tube, which I'm guessing I'm using one of these. Um... Maybe one of these? I don't know. We're going to figure it out, though. We got airlines over here. I think it's kind of cool that they actually already put thread tape on the fittings, the elbows that it comes with. I think that's kind of a nice thing. You know, a lot of people, companies don't do that. So, anyway, here's our instructions for a 17 and 19 Ford Super Duty 57399. That is a kit. Make sure you get the right kit. Um, yeah, what we got here? Ooh, a user guide. Nice. Anyway, so yeah, guys, we're going to start zipping through this stuff. We'll see what happens. Well, actually, we're going to do this first. We're going to get the truck ready. We're going to get this bad Jerry up in the air, you know, the whole nine. So and then we'll start figuring stuff out. But other than that, these things look pretty sweaty. I ain't going to lie. Hmm. <laughs> Tires are off, jack stands are under the truck. You see me walking back and forth a couple times. I was just making sure that the truck did not hit and there is some clearance. So we're dialed in and uh, yeah, floor jack just sitting there, don't mind that. But yeah, so this is what we're looking like here. We're gonna probably start out with taking them bump stop plates off, which I don't know what size that is, but I'm about to figure out here in a minute. So stay close, stay ready. We're about to get after it. All right, guys, change of plans. So 
I read the instructions, first page. You know, you know how those guys are. You know, ah, we don't need them instructions. We'll just skim through them. Anyway, they want you to jack it up by the frame so the axle can drop down. So we changed it up. So it's sitting on the rear uh, receiver for the hitch. And uh, I got the floor jack supporting the axle if I need to drop it down anymore. So now we're going to continue. Start. So bump stops with the plate. Take them out on both sides as you see me do. The instruction does not say what size. It is a 15 millimeter socket. Uh, and then they say just use a flat blade screwdriver. Get them clips out of the frame because we're going to use them holes for the new plates. So both sides, I'll save this stuff, but that's that part. That's This is probably all the easy shit. So we're going to keep on trucking. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to see what they want me to do. Because trying to base these installs, if you're referencing the instructions, hey, let me see a video while I read the instructions. So also, this is what happens when you fluid film your Ohio truck. Kind of makes me regret doing it, but hey, that's okay. We like getting dirty over here at the Power Stroke Rick Garage. So let's see what we're operating with now. So per the instructions, what we're about to do is we're about to put them clips in and we're about to put this plate on. So the M10... Four M10s you're gonna get right there. 38 foot pounds, that's why I got the torque wrench out. And then all these carriage bolts, three eighths, 16 by inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna put blue Loctite on everything. I don't know if you guys do. Um, that's just usually what I do. I don't think the instruction says anything about it. You also gotta make sure that the front of the truck is that way, inboard is to the right. That little curve right there, that's gonna be facing towards the pumpkin in the middle of the axle. So let's see if I got that right. Inboard away from leaf spring and tire, yes. So this side we're about to do, it's about to go on exactly like this. The other side, excuse my camera action here. Other side, dry, our passenger side is gonna go like that. So just keep that in mind. Put some blue Loctite on these guys. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. There's a 50 cent song about that. All I need is a little bit. All right, I ain't gonna start singing for you guys. Anyway, you get the drill. Uh, I'm gonna start filming, yeah. clips are up there be careful with them clips you might have one of them go shooting every now and then so just be cautious with them slotted bolt towards the front of the truck or slotted hole towards the front of the truck all four carriage bolts are in also uh like they say in the instructions this little slot right here is facing towards the pumpkin so if we go on the other side it's the same old song and dance same operation so you can't see but this Slot facing that way. The slot up here facing towards that front. So on to the next, I guess, right? So following per the instructions, you got four of these plates, two for the top, two for the bottom. So what I see, they only go on one way, obviously. And the elbow quick connect, they say they want you to put these on finger tight, right? And if you see a little trick, I marked them. With black marker because in the instructions they say go finger tight plus one and a half turns so once that goes around one time and then a half then i'm gonna stop and like i said they already got thread tape on it so these bolts you got four of these guys right here in the bag with the countersunk bolts and you got washers and lock washers i put a little thread locker on them and uh we will show you tightening everything up and dipping it up 
Then we're gonna put these brackets on right here so you'll see that as well. So always make sure when you're doing something like this, you have the instructions right in front of you. Because in the last clip you saw, I put these, these plates on without putting this plate on, but you'll have that on them big jobs. That's what happens when you don't pay full attention. So don't forget to put these plates on first. So you got driver's side right here and you got passenger side, I believe, per the image. So now we're gonna flip it over, throw them plates on, and then we got these, these bad boys we're gonna assemble right here. So we'll keep showing you that. So what you've just seen me do is the countersunk bolts. I probably should have mentioned this. Everything is standard on these. So for that, you got a 7 32nd Allen head. And then putting the bolts and the clips in the frame is a quarter inch Allen head. The opposite side down here with the 3 8 bolts, those are 9 16 um, Yeah, so where we're at right now is this is the bottom bracket with these two uh, carriage bolts in here. Make sure you put them in. And when you assemble this, they say, in the instructions, maybe I got it right, I don't know. But this flange back here is opposite of the airline. So right now the airline is right here on this side. These are on this side. So this is the passenger side. Same with this side. Airline is right here. These are on this side. So again, torque 20 foot pounds, uh, blue Loctite. And we're going to put these on that go on the axle tube. And excuse me, these just go on like this. You got another carriage bolt in there with a nut and you're going to bolt them and I'm going to show you doing that right now. So also airline, not only I mentioned half inch wrench to tighten the airline down. Or, I'm sorry, the elbow. So I don't know if I mentioned that either. I know people like that when we know sizes of stuff. So yeah. All right, guys. So. This that goes on the axle tube is on. You leave them loose, 5 16 nylock with the washer. It is a half inch drive wrench as well. So leave them loose on both sides. And I just labeled passenger and driver just so I know. Don't make fun of my writing. As long as I know, but nobody else will know. So we're gonna go ahead and show you, start putting these on. So essentially all that's left that we're seeing for mounting these is these U-bolts right here. Uh, these that go around the bottom of the axle tube that will essentially be like that or maybe like that or no aha that's what them carriage bolts are for so and we do have some hose clamps which i should probably put on the bags maybe i'm guessing that's what those are for so we'll figure it out we'll keep on rocking and we got some airlines and we got a sticker that's cool All right, guys, so here's the update. Um, for my last clips, you saw me just getting each bag on each side, and then I kind of just raised the axle up slowly, slowly, and then I had the bolts sticking through, made sure those are all straight. So where I'm at right now is just, everything's just sitting right now. I gotta put this uh, bracket in the bottom. I just put the U-bolt on this side right here with everything is 3 8 nuts with the lock, or the nylocks with the washers. So that's what I'm seeing for all this stuff, so. Everything is still loose right now, so we're kind of just 
in the process of going over tightening everything up like even this like this is just loose right now i'm gonna put these on here everything's just loose so i just i hope you guys understand the process of what i did just each bag in the axles drop down and slowly jack it up check this side check that side make sure this is lined up you know what i'm saying so little by little we're almost done pretty easy yeah. Right, guys so like i'm like i'm trying to do i'm trying to film this as best as i can but it's kind of hard getting really low and getting in there but basically we're gonna i'll go over everything when i'm done but everything you see is here so we're gonna tighten this u-bolt up first then we're gonna tighten that and then we're gonna tighten these so i'm not gonna film it but i'll go over it on both sides once it's done i did add blue loctite to the remainder of the threads i already did those ones in the beginning if you remember so we're gonna do that on both sides and then all I have to do is just run the airlines, so we'll be dialed in. Well, guys, I said I wasn't going to film, but while I'm here, again, you want to tighten these U-bolts the same on each side, but as you can see, I'm using hand tools, old school. Um, I mean, you could try to get a right angle in there if you got swivels or anything fancy like that, but we made it this far. Job's pretty easy. We're just going to tighten everything down on hand tools and try not to slip off like I just did. So just a little tip, and then also, don't forget... Where's it at? This block that the bump stop tang that the tang sits on, don't forget about that half inch uh, nut in there that you gotta tighten up. And they do tell you it's a little difficult to get in here now, but they want you to set it like this, then tighten it. So don't forget about that. We'll show you that as well. This plate with the U-bolts are tight. This U-bolt on both sides is tight. The top bolts, those are tight. Now here's what they tell you in the instructions. This is the little hard tricky guy. That guy right there, that half inch. Don't forget about it, because that is for the block that sits on the tang. So you kind of got to get in there with the wrench. Probably got to flip the wrench around. So see, I'm to the point now. Let's see. Is it pretty tight? No, I'm hitting. I got to go on the other side. So I'm going to go on the other side right now and do the same thing. And just work it nice and slow. It's not a long bolt. It's 5 16th. So again, don't forget about it. I also lied again electric impact i'm like man screw this screw this old bull stuff this takes too long so we're just kind of getting everything nice and even just to start out you know let's get these cats up here oh uh oh Let's go to the other side. Man, does anybody want to come film for me? I'll pay you. Might be in Cowboy Killers, honestly, but I mean, you smoke cigarettes, it's a fucking win-win, you know? This thing's bogged down. Those are tight as well, too. That one right here. A little hard to get to because my exhaust so luckily the flex head ratchet did her got her done so we're gonna keep going all right guys everything is fully done wrapped up on both sides everything is tight on both sides at least i hope so fly by night contractor tail end warranty you know me so what i'm doing now is i'm putting this heat shield they give you for the exhaust and you do have to double hose clamp it, as you can see right there, because uh, that's a little big right there. So I'm going to put it right there. I'll show you when I'm done. But uh, yeah, the bag makes me nervous. So I definitely want to put that shield right there just to be safe. So I'll show you doing that. So heat shield is on, and this is going to be different applications, whatever you guys are rocking down here. But double hose clamp and then the shield right here just by the bag. I'm probably going to trim this, trim that clamp back right there. So... That, and then we got the little nylon or whatever wrap for the airlines. So now I'm gonna figure out how I wanna run the airlines. Now, so that's where that guy's going, right underneath this plug right here, or not the plug for my spare tire. So 
I think that'll be good because I'd like to put it in the fuel door, but I feel as if I won't have enough line because we're going to have to cut the line. Obviously, like I said in the beginning, these two Schrader valves are making them into one, so they both fill up at the same time. So I got that T right there off Amazon along with this, so yeah, we're going to keep on going. Valve, Schrader valve I mounted right here. That's what I opted to do. Got the cap on it. So the lines, I mean, you ain't going to get too crazy with them mounting wise because I don't want anything to be by the exhaust. So I got this wrap right here. I got it wire tied up there, a couple up here, and I really have nowhere else to go up here, but I didn't want to go any further because I'd be closer to the exhaust. So I'm happy with this. This is about as good as it's going to get. I mean, you got all your brake lines and like that shit jumbled up there. So, yep, this is the full install of the airlift rear bags on the old truck. So we're gonna fill them up, see what they do. All right, guys. So, Milwaukee M18 compressor. We're just gonna go 30 PSI. So with these bags, it says to run five PSI in them, operating at all times, and then, you know, fill them up. Don't exceed 100 PSI. So we just wanna see what it does. That was fucking quick. That's it. She flayed it up. Yep. Also check for air leaks, the fittings with soapy water. I'm not gonna film that either. So that's it guys, full install on the airlift. 5,000 bags now. You're asking what truck this is on. I might've forgot that. This is a full install on a 2017 Ford F-350 single rear wheel i do have the gooseneck that causes no issues so full install right here all right y'all that's it full install video here on the airlift uh rear load leveling bags five thousand pound so hope you guys enjoyed this i got these on amazon i got the t-valve on amazon too it's in the link when you buy the kit itself so thanks for tuning by thanks for watching i don't know why i keep saying tuning by that doesn't even make sense tuning in that's what i'm trying to say here so like a sore dick, can't beat it. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.